Boo ba. That's me when I was younger. Same with my grandma. <laughs> Good morning, I'm at Value Village. It's November 1st, so I thought we would start off with like a little bit of a challenge. So today, I can only buy crisp. My body doesn't wanna do it. Um, We can only buy Christmas items unless another item I find is a 10 out of 10. Like Lizzie McGuire, that's really about it. Unless the item is 10 out of 10, I can only buy Christmas stuff to celebrate November 1st. So let's see if we can accomplish this. Who remembers when I found this exact photo album like a year ago or something? It's been so long. So cute. Love Tweety Bird. Then this picture frame was so fun too. Like the transparent blue giving Y2K. Some fun Christmas ornaments in the box still, especially this Barbie one, so adorable. If only it wasn't $10. I keep finding the cutest little stocking holders, but I don't have a fireplace. So I really don't have anywhere to like hang a stocking except for one little hook that I have my Lizzie McGuire stocking on. So yeah, so sad. One day I will have a fireplace and I will be able to get cute little stocking hangers to display them with. This bag was full of plush Disney Christmas ornaments. Look at them. Oh, they're so adorable. And then this one I thought had potential, like there were some other plush Christmassy things in there, but nothing too interesting. And then that also had some Christmas ornaments. But look, I keep finding these like in-box craft kits. Look, Girl Zone making, um, you know, friendship bracelets. And also I found another Wonder Sand. The other one I found was Aqua Sand. This is Wonder Sand. I don't remember which one came first, but wow. And I wanted this so bad. A little yearbook from 2003, and you can literally just put all about your life in there. I was such a sucker for these books growing up. I had tons of these, and I would have loved, loved, loved this one so much. I just love the designs and the colors of it as well. I'm such a sucker for a Christmas VHS tape, and look what I spotted. Blue's Big Holiday, you know we'll be testing this out later in the video. So don't forget to stay till the end. And surprise, surprise, look who I ran into again. Booba himself. Wow, it's been a while since I found a Booba. I've been missing them. So glad to stumble upon it. And there were tons of little My Little Pony bags. And I was very tempted to grab them, but I was like, nope, I already bought a couple the other day. I don't need any more. So I needed to, you know, stick with the plan of Christmas stuff. A little Polly Pocket apartment, but there weren't any dolls included. This bag had a little strawberry shortcake and brats, but it was a little bit pricey for just two items. And this is the cutest bag I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, the transparency, the little pony at the front, oh. The restraint I needed to have in that store to just mainly get Christmas stuff, oh my gosh. So, I got a Christmas bag of um, Christmas ornaments. So we're gonna open that in a minute. Blue's Clues. Blue's Big Holiday on VHS, you're kidding me? I will be watching this. We will be watching this when I pack orders one day. I'm so excited. Um, it's a little ripped on the top, but you know what? As long as the VHS works, we're good. So before we open the Christmas bag, I got something not Christmas because to me it's 10 out of 10. Every time I have this item, it sells. Every single time I've had it, it has sold and it is very hard to come by. Booba! Booba! If this is not a 10 out of 10, I don't know what is. It's a cute little yellow guy. I'm obsessed with the little like vinyl head. So freaking cute. Only $3, so I did snag it. It was so hard for me not to grab those My Little Ponies, like so hard. But I didn't, okay? This is the only item I got that was not Christmas, okay? <laughs> okay, just open the bag. Let me show you the things I don't care for. This and this. They're not awful. They're just not something I personally would want. But this is what I got from the bag, okay? Three Disney plush Christmas ornaments. Grumpy, I think. I don't know. Winnie the Pooh and Pinocchio. How stinking cute. Started off great with Christmas. So let's hope the other stores are the same. 
Well, you know it was bad when I had absolutely nothing to show you guys. Literally nothing was there. Like, oh, that was one of the worst thrift trips in a while. Okay, we're gonna head over to um, Goodwill. This one's really hit or miss. The next two stores are hit or miss, so we'll see what happens. It's getting a little rough out there in the thrift stores. Nothing too crazy in this one either. There were a lot of ornaments to look at, but no nostalgic, you know, character ones, the ones that we love and we search for. But I still wanted to show you some of the ones I did find. Um, this was interesting. It was a vintage Rudolph one, but I don't know what character that was. Like, let me know if you know what that character was. Like, what? Success. Success. Woo! I'm pretty sure this is Bullwinkle and the only reason why I know that is because of Full House. The guy talks about Bullwinkle all the time and so I'm pretty sure this is him. I didn't even look it up, I just snatched it. So cute! I love when I find a plush Christmas stocking that I've never found before. Like I always find Winnie the Pooh, I always find Tigger, I always find like Disney characters, but never Bullwinkle so add a new one to my list. Alright, now we're gonna head over to Salvation Army cute little bag of some metal ornaments they're the ones that you would open up and i think they came with candy or something rudolph hello kitty cinderella cute little mickey mouse photo album looking through the vhs's there were a couple christmas ones but then i remembered my dad donated some of the vhs tapes that didn't sell at our garage sale to this exact location and i feel like a handful of these were ones that we donated so yeah i didn't grab any of them i think i've learned my lesson with uh, obscure christmas VHS tapes more my little ponies like why do I keep finding my little ponies it's crazy that they're in like every single thrift store I go to oh and a glow worm I've been finding quite a few glow worms and bullwinkle I've never found bullwinkle before and now it's everywhere I go I'm actually surprised that most of the items that I wanted were Christmas items like there was nothing else really I did get the bag of ornaments so we have hello kitty Hello Kitty ornament from 2013. Yeah, 2013. We've got the Rudolph one and we have Cinderella. I thought very hard if I actually wanted to buy this, but I do think the Hello Kitty one is worth a little bit. So it was worth it to me. Oh, also there's this random like mouse one in here. Pretty much everything is Christmas except for the booba. So I, I think we did a good job with this task. Let me know in the comments if you think we did. Okay, I was going through my Christmas stuff just to see what I want to get rid of and donate because I feel like I have a lot of things from, from like 2013 when I first moved out for college and it's just not my style anymore. So I wanted to go through like what I want to get rid of and then I can buy a couple new things. But I forgot I have a little mini tree. And I do have another one, it's a lot bigger. It's a silver one. I got this at Target when it was in Canada. So that just shows how long ago I got this. And I was either gonna put this one up here or the real Christmas tree, but I feel like this one's just a little more festive. This one's kind of just like, not it. I don't know, if you like this Christmas tree, so sorry. I'm just gonna put this little guy up. It's precious, but I do have a couple, um, ornaments that i'm gonna put on it some nostalgic ornaments on this little christmas tree so let's do that we have a little mickey oh my gosh i got this i remember exactly where i got this this looney tunes one okay can you see it it's that looney tunes girl I got this at a gift exchange with my childhood friends that I'm not friends with anymore. I think it might have been my family friends. And I remember doing a little gift exchange and this is what I got. A little Looney Tunes Christmas ornament. And I still have it. So that's actually crazy. I haven't lost it. It's so small. But yeah, look, I have a whole bunch of like Rudolph ones. So cute. I'm gonna put these ones on. Why don't I have the new Blue's Clues tape playing? The one that I literally just got. Come on, Kaylin. We need the festivities. Ooh, it's a little bumpy. Oof, it's a little bumpy. 
Well, this isn't good, is it? Introducing the one, the only, the very... That's so sad. So I guess I'm gonna be keeping this VHS tape. Is this Clarabelle? I also have a little Precious Moments one. some like really tiny figures this one also used to be on my family christmas tree it's a little mouse in a chestnut what is that 